If you watch my video on if you should be selling on Amazon in 2022, you know that 2022 is going to be a great year for e-commerce. Besides inflation and the uncertainty that we have with the pandemic, e-commerce demand is expected to significantly increase year over year and Amazon, it's the market you want to be selling in. However, it's not as easy as just buying products from Alibaba and then reselling them here in the US market. You need a product or a line of products that are going to be in demand and ideally ones that do not have a boatload of competitors. Today I'll be covering the top products to be selling in the year of 2022 and why I personally believe that these are the best opportunities to begin selling. For those of you new to the channel, welcome. My name is Josh. I am the founder of Debt to Dollars here. And every month I post one of these videos on the top products to begin selling on Amazon for the month ahead. Uh, we cover all the data for the most innovative, high demand and low competition products. That way you can go ahead and begin selling those products for that up and coming month. Today, I'm gonna to be doing things a little bit differently as I want this video to cover the entire year and not just the first month of the year. Now that we've covered this, we can get started. So the first area on Amazon that I plan to focus my attention on in 2022 are the toys and games. Now in particular, there's one niche that I think is gonna outperform the rest based on the data that we're seeing at hand, and that is the toy brand of Squishmallow Toys. In particular, the Squishmallow 20 inch niche reached an all time high in search volume this past month and is expected to outperform the two year trends. These plush toys sell for over $50, giving you an easy opportunity at a plus 40% profit margin. Ideally, we want a plus 35% profit margin, and obviously the higher it is, the better. Now competition is very low for this niche, and Jungle Scout is rating this with a 9 out of 10, which is very impressive. Now to put this in perspective, the search volume for this product is higher than common searches like men's wallet, hand sanitizer, and printed paper. More people are looking for this product than some of these most common household items. As you can see from the top sellers here, some are even reaching over $100,000 in monthly revenue, and even some are close to $300,000. One last thing is that the Squishmallow toy brand, it's an existing toy brand, so it's trademark, so do not actually use this name in your listing if you plan to sell these type of toys. I am just bringing attention to the niche of popular toys, so look for a similar design that you can sell that you could place yourself in this niche. Expect these toys to continue selling at high volumes in 2022 and competition to stay fairly low in comparison to the demand. Okay, and on to the second area. This second area that I'd focus on in 2022 is gonna be pet products. Now we saw in the pandemic back in 2020 and actually in 2021 that pet products sharply increased in demand. And this is mainly a result of people going out and adopting a furry friend. Therefore, they need some pet products to go along and support that animal. The number of pet dogs and cats in the US increased from 140 million in 2019 to 149 million in 2020, representing about a 7% growth. Now that doesn't seem like a lot, but that growth greatly outstripped pre-pandemic projections, which was only expected to increase about one to 2%. Now in particular, there's actually a couple niches that I would focus on more than others. First, pet net for car is going to be a popular one. This product acts as a safety barrier between the front and back row of seats for your animal. In addition, new car sales are expected to significantly increase in 2022, only making this a great product to thrive when new car sales are increasing and pet ownership is increasing as well. Now the numbers for this one, they aren't as impressive as the Squishmallow toy brand, but this product will give you the best opportunity to establish your product and to sell long-term due to the very small amount of competition. Some other product niches to consider are dog ramp for bed and grooming hammocks. The dog ramp sell for over $100, making your profit per sale somewhere in the range of $30 to $50 more than likely. The search volume is around 12,000 searches per month, suggesting a very high demand for this niche, and competition is very low. Lastly, Jungle Scout is scoring this a 7 out of 10 niche score. Now on the other hand, the grooming hammocks are a much simpler product that would be easier to source. Over the past two years, the search volume has been steadily increasing and is expected to nearly triple in 2022. Most sellers are making over $10,000 a month and Jungle Scout is ranking at a 7 out of 10 opportunity right now. 
As pet ownership increases, I expect these products to continue increasing in demand as well. Before we move on to our final products, I want to mention the importance of incorporating sustainability into your products because it's going to be very important to customers this year. Chris Biggs, who is the global head of retail for the Boston Consulting Group, said that our research reveals that 90% of consumers are more concerned about sustainability than ever before. Looking at another article in Forbes, in the UK, 41% of Brits recognize that recyclable choices and sustainable packaging influence their buy-in decisions, and 70% are willing to pay a price premium of 5% for sustainable products. Regardless if your item is going to be the Squishmallow toy or one of the pet niches, I really recommend incorporating a sustainable material or sustainable aspect to your product. That way you can put these premiums on your products and you're also doing good for the environment. Okay, and on to our final area to focus on when selling in 2022. This is going to be the most popular, I believe, and that is self-care products. It would be an understatement to say that 2021 was a tough year for many. This past year, people searched how to maintain mental health on Google more times than ever before globally. This is why my focus area for this year to introduce more self-care, mental health-related products to help others. Now, I'm going to be the first to tell you that selling in health and household and beauty and personal care categories on Amazon, it's one of the most difficult categories to actually launch a product in. However, if you're able to successfully get your product going into these categories, you have one of the best opportunities out of any other categories for long-term growth and especially brand loyalty. Okay, so one product niche that I'm really interested in are the brand of Lay & Go makeup bags. These makeup bags have a unique design that has been growing in popularity for the past couple of months. Designing a product with some of the unique features that this product offers would be a great idea. Looking at the search trends, we're seeing a 223% increase over the past 30 days for this niche and a 104% in the past three months. Competition is low and Jungle Scout is rating the niche with an 8 out of 10. If you're looking for an electronic or something with a higher profit margin, I would recommend the Chiropractor Gun product niche. It's possible to get these massaging tools for under $20 a unit and they go for around $150 on Amazon. There's a lot of potential for large profit margins, but make sure that you inspect the quality. If you receive a lot of returns due to a poorly designed massaging gun, you're going to lose money in the long run every time. Lastly, consider the niche of a mask spatula. These tools are used to peel off face masks, which are used for cleansing skin. They're very cheap to source and to procure, and they're not a complex product, which are always the best. Now, what I mean by that is that it's going to limit the amount of your return since it's just a simple plastic item. And on that note of sustainability that we talked about just a little bit ago, I would recommend maybe swapping out the material from an ABS plastic to possibly bamboo. That way you can mark up your products with that 5% that we, that we read about, and uh, you can really reach out to that sustainable audience that is looking for these type of products. Taking a look at some of the data, this niche has seen over 2,000 monthly units sold, a strong 30-day and 90-day search trend, very low competition, and an 8 out of 10 niche score. All right, so at this point, you should have a laundry list of products that you can begin selling on Amazon in 2022. Now, product research, which is all the information that I put together for you here, is one of the most important aspects of being a successful Amazon seller. Too many times, beginners will go into Amazon, sell products that they like to sell or that they would want to buy, and they end up failing because there's too much competition or maybe there's not enough demand to actually support that product. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe that way you can check out these videos each month and that way you know you can learn as you go and to see how i actually figure out which one of these opportunities are going to be great for that month ahead all right thank you and best of luck in 2022